Hey everyone, I just want to just talk about some seats real quick. I recently just had to buy a seat and you can kind of see I had a, I had a few seats here in the shop that I was kind of contemplating using. But I ended up going with this seat here. It's the Ultra Shield. It's the FC2 and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'll just tell you right now, like this, I like the way this seat's built. You can just see all the reinforcement in here. This is not a, a flimsy seat. It's reinforced in the lower back, right here on the shoulders and the ribs, all the way down the legs, um, the halo as, as well. And this seat is adjustable. So it, you can adjust it up and down if this, for, to get the halo. So it does have some adjustability here, which is nice. Because not everybody's the same. So and it's also got a, you know, it's the padding and everything. I, I'm pretty pretty happy with this, with the price point and everything. This this is um, like I said, this is a good seat for the money. But I also want to say, if you can get a custom built seat, by all means, get a custom built seat. Uh, I think it's one of the most important things to have a seat that's comfortable and built for you. And but they are also pretty expensive. Um, you're looking close to the two thousand dollar range for a good custom built seat. Um, just starting out in modifieds. I got a lot of stuff to buy. I couldn't do a custom built seat right now. So like I said, that's, this is kind of what I settled on. But these are the other seats that I had to choose from. Um, this is the seat that came with the car. Like I said, this is a Butler. They're great seats. But this one just doesn't fit me as well. I'm just, I can already tell right here, I mean, this is too high for me. Um, this is way up in my ribs. Even with some padding underneath it, it's still too high. And even this here, someone has taken this side off just to make it easier to get out. But it's still quite, you can just see how far away it is. And that's with pad on it. So even if I raise up, I mean, I'm still too, too small in this seat and it's, my hips are, Nowhere close. It just needs more. It's just too big for me. Uh, still a good seat. Still got some life in it. Needs a little repair here. Like I said, these, I don't know if somebody set something on it, but it should be able to just bend that up and fix that. But um, this is why I, it's close, but I just figured it's not worth, it's just not worth it. <laughs> save a little bit of, save a little bit of money here. So um, that's why I decided to get a new seat. And this seat here, this seat's actually the right size. It's a Kirky. And I thought about maybe using this one. I had it in the car. And I did think about it for a while. And with the pad on it, it I don't have a pad, so I have to buy a pad, which is another, I don't know, $150, $100 something dollars. But it fits really good. The, the ribs aren't too high up. And with a pad, it's, you know, it's pretty good. But it just doesn't. I don't know, right in here, it doesn't fit quite as good. Something just doesn't seem right with my, with my arms on the outside of it. So that was another reason why I didn't really want to use it. And just not full containment. And like I said, I think full containment. I've raced in one of these style of seats a long time. I had one that actually had this side cut off. Somebody just wanted to make it easier. So they just cut the ribs off the left side and could get in and out really easy, but it didn't really hold me in the seat and I get tired, you know. A really tacky track that was rutted up. I just want to get out of the car, just holding myself up. And it still needs this, you know, by the time I bought a pad and headrest, it'd still be, you know, over a hundred and something dollars probably to, to finish this seat out. So good seat, good, well-made lightweight seat. But it's just also another reason why I decided not to use this one. But I think now the full containment seats are just so good I just can't imagine not having one, but um, I just kind of want to show you like, I really like the way the seat fits. Um, like I said, it's not custom built, but I went to bike racing and I wanted to make sure that I could sit in a seat. And before I bought one, I was, looked at a couple of used ones, but I wanted to buy one and just sit in it to make sure because it is a lot of money for me. So, but this seat here, I really like the way everything fits good in the hips, the legs, 
right here in the ribs. It's not too high. I can't stand when the ribs are too high. I had another seat in one of the outlaw carts that was that way. The first one uh, drove me crazy. But um, the halo is perfect once I get my helmet on. The only thing, you can see what I set up. Um, this is almost up my cheeks, which is good. The only thing on this seat that I didn't like was right here at the shoulders. It's too wide. Um, it's the only part that didn't fit me. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it or not, but um, Brian at Brike, what he did is he got on the phone immediately. We kind of measured a few seats and just measure this. And he got on the phone with Ultra Shield. That's a good sign when you have to twist, when you have to twist in and out of the seat. That's how you know it fits. But he got on the phone with Ultra Shield and we just asked him about this area here because I have pretty good wide shoulders, but I still felt like it just didn't fit me quite right here. So we got on the phone with Ultra Shield and this is what they came up with. We measured it out and Ultra Shield basically custom made these. And it's got some foam in here. But we measured it out and I just, I basically said I wanted two inches. So they made these different thicknesses of foam. If you can see that there, this is what turns out to be perfect for me. And I've also got, there came with one of these. I had to take one of these out. It was just a little too tight when I got it. But let me show you when I put these on. So these are custom made and they sent them right away. But this is the kind of stuff I like when I'm buying parts. Somebody that sees the problem or sees what I need and finds a solution. And for Ultra Shield to come through and just do this stuff, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, it's not a custom seat, but it's pretty close. And you can see here, these, when they come stock, there's no padding in here. So the reason why they make them wide is because since it's not a custom seat, they have to try to make them so, you know, just more generic so people can fit in them. If they're too narrow, it just limits who can get in them. But they've come up with a really good solution. All right, so you can kind of see there how they kind of solve this problem for me. But I'm pretty happy with what they did. snapped on there All right, so now you can see right here, um, I originally had a mate with two inches of padding each side. It was just too tight. So I took half inch out on each side. So it's got an inch and a half on each side, but as you can tell, my shoulders feel perfect. Um, and I could still adjust it if I wanted to, but I like the inch and a half on each side, just worked out great for me. But I really like the fit of this seat now. Um, before, you know, I had movement in here and right now it just, like I said, it's not a custom seat, but it's, it feels really good. I don't know what else I would change on it. Um, the halo, once I get my helmet on, is really good as well. So I really like the way this halo, and it's also adjustable in the back. This seat, it's the FC2, it adjusts. You can raise the, the halo up or down. So it does have adjustability there. So, but I would definitely recommend, if you're gonna buy a seat, I would, I would set in it. Just set in it, make sure you like the feel of it because that's what's, that's what's important. And a safe seat, something that's strong. You don't want a seat breaking or folding up on you or coming out of the car, so. But that's my advice, that's what I've learned too. Um, I'm gonna be selling this seat probably. This will make a good seat for somebody. And um, that's still a good seat, but it's just not full containment. And I think nowadays, full containment, you, you have to have full containment seat. But I also just wanna say thanks to Brike and Ultra Shield for coming through and coming up with some solutions for me and giving me a pretty good product.